right, so you have the game here, ladies and gentlemen, who's in, um, you know, accused of sexual assault. This is back a case back in 2016 where Priscilla Rainey, and, you know, she was a young woman. I guess she was uh, one of the, I guess, co host star of the show called um, He Got Game. And I was on VH1. And, you know, it was just uh, the game show. He pretty much wanted to have a date with this young woman. And she uh, was like, okay, well, it was a date for the show, for the ratings. And she, you know, agreed to be on the date. And she later, I um, believe, and uh, she understood that it was no production crew. And now, you know, the game, apparently, according to her story, that he was showing up highly intoxicated. He was on drugs. Um, you know, it made her very uncomfortable, touched her inappropriately in her, you know, private areas and her buttocks. That's what they were saying. That's what she was saying. And, um, and, and just sexually assaulting her in a way, you know, just touching her inappropriately. And, you know, I even noticed back in 2016, you know, was, um, he was supposed to go into court, uh, I think later on, like this year or whatever. And he didn't appear to go to court. So the judge actually filed uh, a pretty much a notion to sue of $7,130,000 to the plaintiff. And you know she has actually a uh, she gonna have ownership of Born to Rap royalties now. I believe he's making two two um, albums of that, or I don't know if I haven't really listened to most of his music, but all the revenue, all the streaming, the the the, the constant residual income that he's really making money from those albums is gonna go directly to her. Now he hasn't paid a dime yet to this woman from the seven million dollars. Even though the judge has filed anything, but he was on complex on. He was just saying like, "Hey, this woman is is ridiculous." I ain't even really was nowhere near this woman. She's lying, and we don't know, man. I mean, it's this is women out here. I'm not saying this is true or not, but it's maybe accusations. Women out here will falsely say, "Oh, this person raped me. This person did this to me." You know, we see on the whole Me Too movement everything that's been going on to a lot of uh, young men and men in general that have like maybe relationships with women in the past and it's a very sad thing because you actually have some women if they're actually really taking advantage of this you have to be some women that really been uh this type of face to them that actually were a victim you know they they was actually forced against their will and this is i don't want anyone to really go through that and men go through that as well you know they can get raped by a woman they get raped by a man it goes both ways and you know when you're just in a, just useless and you felt you know you can't defend yourself and some people get off to that, like, oh wow, this person is defending. She can't. Def she defenseless. She's screaming. You know, I love seeing this person in pain. It's actually, you know, it seems like their brain takes teams to keep going. And some people want to do it for dominance and power. I'm not saying that the game did it. We don't know. I don't know personally. This is just all what's going on right now. But you know, the brother. You know, if this is really true that he really worked hard for, you know, everything that he owned. Um, she's gonna have a complete ownership of his independent record label, Prolific Records. I heard, man. So even though WAC 100 was one of his uh, managing companies, she was saying like, yeah, this is crazy. Like, I don't even know that she even would do something like this. Like, who is this woman? And the reason why he missed his court dates because he had a dentist appointment. That's what he said. But, you know, it's people in L.A., man, which you should be. You know, they're standing on his side. Um, like I said, I'm neutral about this, man. I really want to know what's really going to happen. If That's a lot of money, man. The judge is actually, she actually going to fall up and file a motion of the C's on the game's income so that's gonna be a really huge game changer man because he's really not really making any type of music in this particular moment i don't know if he's simping or anything if you really want on a date if you really want to pursue this woman loving this woman right now um but he's in a relationship in this particular moment but man i don't know what type of spot or spiritual state that the game is on right now we don't know but um man I, this is getting really it can get real ugly man seven million dollars that's a big chunk man of this this young man's wealth so um just i'm gonna have a Article link in the description box. You really found that real interesting uh, what he's going through in this particular moment, man. But he said that he didn't do it. He's not paying the dime. And we're going to see, man. So this is your boy. Only you guys to like, comment, subscribe. If you think um, Priscilla uh, Rainey is lying about this uh, particular thing, because it takes like, well, four years or whatever. It took about four or five years for this to actually go into trial and whatever. So we're going to see, man. Um, so lawyers, entertainment lawyers is going to you know hopefully defend him on his behalf. Uh, let's keep my eyes open on this. But it's your boy, Only Junior. Guys, between like, comment, subscribe, I'm out.